Welcome back. I am going to continue the training sessions. I'm probably going to see if we can fit the, the next two training missions because there's, this is a set of tree, uh, tree, three training missions in um, to basically introduce the the basic controls to the, the newcomer. Why I'm doing this is because you get a medal for this. I'll probably cover the medals a little bit before ending the video. So I'm going to start this because this is just um, blah 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 briefing don't touch the controls until you're told to do so you will fail this sim session if you do not follow instructions carefully I turned up the voice I turned up the voice because I thought they were too quiet I listened to the last recording I thought they were too quiet so I turned them up I don't know how And here they are, warping in, or jumping in rather, they use, they use the term jump. You tap H to target the nearest hostile target. Or not nearest, but the in order of nearest. Here's the freighter. Which critical? I did it again. I already targeted it. It also helps you locate the them in the chaos of battle. Which goes to the point I was What you just said goes to the point I was making earlier in the first video about how this game focuses a lot more on the warship combat than other space fighter sims. Anyway, Energy is more critical later, but right now, it's not a concern. Only close range. Excuse me. Notice how you could single fire, they could double fire. Also, this ginger ammo quickly, but. Yeah.
near is the keyword, not at. I'll dual fire this. Notice how they track. They went off. The, they went off to the side, even despite that. See, I'll go off to the extreme side over here again. I believe it's as long as it's in sight. Oh, whoops. And When it's talking about subsystems, it's talking about targeting and engines and whatnot. So if your engine gets wrecked or whatever, Nick, yeah, yeah. If your engine gets wrecked or your targeting system or whatever, but then they can get wrecked if you, if they get hit enough, then you can't use them in, as much or at all. So the idea is that a support ship is able to repair it as long as well as refill your secondary uh, secondary banks. Now I see I'm going over the limit already, so I might as well just stop here after this is over. Um, I was going to say that dual firing is often recommended for firing missiles because I don't really see much of a uh, detriment not to aside from consuming twice as much ammo but I mean you want to kill your enemy faster unless one volley of missiles or whatever is enough to kill your target then I don't see any point to uh, not use dual fire because unless you're trying to save ammo by single firing it's most beneficial to use dual fire anyway it does more damage and oftentimes I don't really see much cases where one volley of instead of dual, uh, dual volley would finish off your, uh, the usual target. So I'm done here so I'm just gonna warp out. The River Dawn is a strange craft. I kinda like it but I don't at the same time. Anyway, since I'm done with this one, and I'm probably over the limit, I'm gonna stop this here. I thought I'd be able to fit in both, but I took my time a bit, and it's kinda, you know, like, kinda my fault, but I wanted to get a training thing in, so. I guess it's, I guess it is my fault, but, like I said, you don't have to watch it, you know. Skip all the, all the way ahead to the actual start of the game. Anyway, see you later.